These vehicles can be tested on the OBD1 in a variety of ways. You got the key, which is plugs in two holes or slots on your plug connector here. Or you can use, even use a paper clip or a wire to jump it, as long as it's a solid connector where it shorts it out. This is called a GM code key. I bought it, it says 1996, but I bought it or got it at a car part place years ago. I probably can't even get them no more since OBD one's been gone for over nearly 12, 15 years. Anyway, to make it work. And you also got this scanner. Then you got the book that tells you all the how to do it. And you scanner and all the uh, what the lights mean, and in some cases how to test stuff, like some of your sen sensors. You start out. This one can test anti-brake system or engine. The strut doesn't have anti-brake system, so we'll put it on the engine. No, it's got a certain way it plugs in. It's got a little notch there, and a little notch on the top of the thing there. You just simply plug it in, like so. Turn your key on. And what it does, it makes your check engine light flash. And it gets you the code. You count the flash. There'll be a flash, flash, pause, then more flash. Then a few, two or three second pause, then I'll start another code. Like code 12 would be flash, flash, pause, flash, flash, again. And you want your book to write it down. Code 12 is a basic code. It pretty much tells you everything's normal. Like I said, when you put have a code 12, Come on, flash once, then go off for about two seconds, pause, then it'll come on, flash, flash, and that's it. You'll have three flashes with a pause in between the one and two. Okay, as I said, I always have your ink pen or a pencil and a piece of paper right down the code zone. Okay, you turn the key on, don't start it. And it will flash one, one, two, or twelve. One, one, two, twelve again. One, one, two, twelve again. One, two, three. Two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, you keep it going, and it'll kick off the code, then it'll finally start back over 12, 12 and 23. So we look in our book, code meanings, 23, it, some of them may have different things, but you got to look, GM Saturn code, GM transmission code. Got different things here on how to adjust everything and how to use it. And if I can it right, it was 23 manifold air temperature max sensor. Single voltage is low or high or throttle position TPS error. Mixture control MC solenoid open or short. You have to find out if your vehicle has one of, which one of these sensors. And test them. Last time I got a code 32, which was barometric pressure, borrow, sensor circuit failure, or exhaust gas recirculation EGR valve diagnostic switch. Close during engine startup or open when EGR flow requested by ECM, which is your computer. Or you can get on the internet and run a code for these numbers. Type in GM code. Turn the key back off. Pull it back out. Then, if you know how to, which one to do, you can plug the key in, like I believe right there. 
I'll go in. And that makes your light flash too. Or maybe not. One, two. And never try to start your vehicle motor or put it in the sensor while you got either the key switch or the tester plugged in. Turn it off and unplug. Now, does the book tell you exactly what models that the thing covers? Yes. All be the ones go from, like I said, like some, 90, some 92, possibly 91, but mostly 93. Up to 96, maybe some 96 test. But as you can see, GM 1982 or higher. So, but they did computer systems back then, but they didn't really start until like the later 90s when it really got developed. I mean, they had computer systems back then, but it wasn't nothing like it was in the 90s. And it tells you what particular GM and fatter. GMs is like. Chevrolet and uh, Pontiac GMC. So you can get these devices for certain models. Right. Where, the place where I got this from also had one for Ford. They're about the same price, thirty dollars at the place I got it. Depending on what auto parts store you get it at and where you live, etc. Or what brand you get. Then like I said, you can look the codes up in the book or on the computer. But it won't exactly pinpoint the problem. It'll just tell you what kind of circuit it is. It won't tell you if the sensor is bad or good. It won't tell you if it's got a vacuum leak, loose connection, burnt connection. It just tells you what area the problem is, what circuit. you got to examine it. Sometimes these things can be wrong. But most of the time, you can kind of get an idea. But in order to clear the circuit, after you've done all the problems, tested out, and think you fixed the problem, you clear the big circuit by disconnecting your battery. I'd take it off, be on the safe side, disconnect both cables for at least five minutes, then put them on. Make sure everything can just cleared out good. Then start your vehicle and drive it again. That's how you erase it codes by disconnecting your battery even if disconnect for about five minutes. If the problem if it detects another problem and the lens check engine comes on, it means it light that comes on means it developed another problem. Could be something short of the problem that you fixed out that you didn't know existed. Or it's found another problem or you didn't get it all the way fixed. Like I said, it don't take much to trigger these. And I've got a OBD2 tester in the house, and another tester which I'll demonstrate later on my 2000 or 99 model Jeep back there. It used OBD2. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.